here for Top 5 Tuesday and today's theme is going to be my top 5 favourite rom-com movies. As you guys probably already know, I've gotten way into the adult contemporary genre. I've been reading a lot, I've been listening to a lot, and I've just been getting really excited. But the one that I'm currently listening to is Waiting for Tom Hanks by Kerry Winfrey. And I will put a picture here so you can see the cover because it has been a lot of fun listening to this one. And it's the reason that I want to do this theme because this book is just all about rom-com movies. So the main character, Annie, is pretty much obsessed with rom-coms and she watched them a lot with her mother before she died when she was a teenager but because of her obsession with rom-com she wants to find the perfect man and the perfect man to her is Tom Hanks so that's characters that he's played the actual actor everything about him is the perfect relationship for her and she is just looking for that perfect relationship that happens like a rom-com and she also wants to be a screenplay writer so she gets the opportunity to work on a film set for a rom-com being the director's assistant and she takes the opportunity and she ends up having a disaster meet cute with the main actor Drew Danforth and after that first interaction everything just kind of spirals out of control because she doesn't know what to do. She's got this set idea of Tom Hanks but she also starts to have these really cute rom-com moments with Drew and a lot of stuff happens. There's a lot of shenanigans through this book. I'm 73% of the way through this book and I'm very excited to do this theme to talk about my favourite rom-coms because you will get a lot of rom-com references throughout the book and it's great and I highly recommend it. So at number 5 on my list of favourite rom-coms is The Proposal. This is honestly one of the most funniest rom-coms I've ever seen. I love Ryan Reynolds in it. I love Sandra Bullock in it. They both play great characters and it's a hate to love romance happening in the office and then they got to pretend that they're getting married so that she can stay in America because she's going to get deported. And I love it because they start to learn about each other. Sandra Bullock plays like the boss character that's like got no emotion and doesn't like care about love and Ryan Reynolds just plays like this kind of cool geeky character and it's great. And the reason that this one is number five though is because it doesn't have the complete feel of a rom-com though. Like the romance was more fun than anything like it wasn't completely all empowering like oh my god I love this so much so I love this movie for the comedy part of the rom-com the romance was still pretty good and I highly recommend checking this one out number four on my list is serendipity so this is one that I only recently watched and I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my contemporary thon reading vlog and it was so good I loved this so much so it's John Cusack and Oh, what is the actress that's in this movie? Like, I know her, but I can't remember. It's like Kate Beckinsale or something. I think that's right, Kate Beckinsale. But this is a movie all about fate and chances, and I thought it was great. Like, throughout this whole movie, the main two actors don't even interact that much, which was very exciting. But this book is about how they meet one night, a crazy, amazing date, and then they decide to leave it up to chance that they need to find each other again. Because Kate's character really believes in fate, but then John Cusack's character doesn't want her to go, so he writes his number on a dollar bill, and then she writes her number in this book. And they're saying that if these two items come back to each other, other it's meant to be and then like years later they're both engaged to other people and gonna get married and then they just suddenly see all these signs to start looking for each other so it's all these near misses of them trying to find each other and running around and it was just such a good romance for the fact that really they didn't interact that much but I was rooting for them so much. Number three on my list is America's Sweethearts. I love this movie so much and it's one that I can just watch time and time and time and time again. So this movie is about two actors that used to date but then they broke up and the media doesn't like the fact that they broke up so a lot of their movies that they've been doing recently have been really bombing and Julia Roberts is in this movie John Cusack again I love him so much he's just in all of them and I'm blanking. She is such a famous actor that plays the other character. Oh my god. But the real romance is Julia Roberts' character and John Cusack's though. But they end up having one last film that they've done together and to promote it they go to this press junket together and they have to act like they're friends and they're happy and there's just heaps of stuff happens throughout this movie that ends up just getting worse and worse and worse and worse because with press they really try to push a lot of things and a lot of rumours go around and everything's been happening but this was a really fun movie and they're all stuck in this one hotel for a whole weekend and all the actors in it are really great, the romance is really good, and I just thoroughly enjoy this movie every single time I watch it. Number two on my list is The Wedding Singer. Oh my god, this is such a cute movie and it's literally the only time that I love Adam Sandler as a romantic lead because he plays more the funny character but this one he's just so sweet and Drew Barrymore does such a good job. In this movie Adam Sandler's character is a wedding singer and he gets hired to do Drew Barrymont's wedding and she's engaged to this guy that's like pretty much a complete asshole. Throughout this movie Adam Sandler
Chandler's character starts helping her with the wedding planning. He kind of starts acting like the husband in the relationship because he's the one helping her with the decisions and going to all the meetings with her. And I just love the way that the romance just develops over quite a long time and it's so sweet and fun and I love all the singing and the songs and there is a lot of good jokes in this one. They just make me so happy and it's just so like 80s and it was just such a brilliant movie. And they're both so young as well. Like a lot of these ones are older movies but they're still just so sweet and they just have the essence of a rom-com which is just what I want to see. And number one on my list is While You Were Sleeping. This is like my ultimate favourite romance movie. I literally watched it the other day. I probably watch it at least once a month it feels like because it is just so adorable and everything about it just feels so wholesome and Sandra Bullock again like I know there's a lot of actors in this list that have done multiple movies. The Most of the reasons I, I love these movies is because of the actors but, but Bill Pullman as well is so good in this movie and he only really does this movie in Independence Day that I've watched. He was also in Sleepless in Seattle but he played like the boyfriend character. Seriously this one is just so sweet and I love too for the fact that she's in love with Frank Gallagher but then when he has the accident and he's in a coma and the whole family thinks that he's engaged to her and she gets swept up in the life of the family but then through this she starts to fall in love with Jack who is his brother and just oh my god it's such a cute relationship and I love it too for the fact that like Frank Gallagher is like kind of the really like handsome and pretty one and Jack Gallagher may not be the best looking guy ever but because he's such a nice guy that makes him like just really attractive and I just oh, it's so cute and just the way she falls in love with him and like really it's just like she fell in love with the idea of a person but then when she actually had the cutest romance ever and I highly recommend people watching this movie it is worth watching I watched it for the first time probably five years ago and I tried it on a whim because I wasn't really sure how I was gonna feel about it and my life changed because it was amazing so guys those are my top five favorite rom-coms I just wanted to talk about romance because romance movies are are the absolute best and I'm definitely going to keep listening to romance books because they also make me feel all the warm fuzzy feelings and I honestly feel like I'm just going to get so many listened to this month because there's a lot of times when I can be listening to stuff this month. I've already finished one and then I'm nearly finished another and there's still so much more of this month to go so I can just listen to all the books. But anyway guys thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!